Three, two. Good evening and welcome back to Rimworld I'm Odia Baranis. We're back at our colony of Schlitz, and our people are a little banged up here for our last encounter. And what is this? We've got enemies at the gates. Oh, it's a local boom rat. Well, we're gonna deal with that very, very soon. Uh, I probably should have clicked the thing to show me where on the map it was, though. Because now it's gonna sneak up on us and I'll have no idea. And those are explosive. Let's see, maybe it's this one? Standing. Nope. Let's see. I can just go through the entire map and grab every single boom rat. Until I'm sure I found the one. Uh, nope. And... Nope. Okay, this is gonna get tedious if I keep doing this. Uh, I wish there was a way to bring it back up afterwards. And, okay, so we'll figure it out. We'll look for the one that's moving towards us. And that, that's the one we'll have to go after here very, very quickly. There he is, Psychotic Rampage. There we go. Okay, so let's get, uh... Vince has a knife. I don't want him dealing with the boomerat. Um, who has a gun? Here we go, Pro Scene. You're a great shot, right? You're not a great shot at all, are you? Nope, he is not. We always send him hunting to uh, raise his abilities up a little bit. Okay, so you gotta shoot this thing before it gets close to you. So shoot it now. Shoot it now. Nope. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Seriously. He's gonna die. Okay, where, do we have a turret set up anywhere here? Where did that even go? Do we even have one of those? <sighs> Um, we don't anymore, do we? Oh, it's right over here. Okay, let's bring Procene over here. Bring him over here if we can. Yeah, you're gonna get bit in the meantime here, but it'll be okay. Let's keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. There you go. Wow, that worked out quite nicely. Uh, let's glitch under after you and you put up those fires, please. Thank you, sir. Alright, so put the fires out and we'll be good. Okay. So, we need to think about other turrets, I think. Um, let's put one down here. And let's do, um, hmm, how do we want to do this? Steel improvised turret, steel improvised turret, rather. If I put it over here, actually that helps the whole melee plan, I think, to put the turret over here, because that'll attract guys to it. Ooh, this guy's dead and he has, a, he has some gear on him. Let's make sure we strip him down. We need more graves to be dug. Uh, let's go miscellaneous graves miscellaneous graves All right That's that'd be a good character name for somebody <laughs> miscellaneous graves. I don't know if be like a western character or something like that Be mis misc graves or something like that. I don't know. This kind of struck me as a oh Harmon's grabbing a beer Consuming a beer. Let's see what this does to his health and stuff like that. He's wearing freight apparel He's immunity, so he has an infection in his left leg. Oh, he's got he's the warm trait. So basically the way it's explained is the warm trait gives a mood bonus. Um I believe. Inebriated, yeah, he gets a plus ten bonus for being inebriated. And then um if you keep drinking though, you'll get hung over eventually and you'll lose control and you'll be vomiting or you'll lose uh lose the ability to function and uh you know, collapse or whatever too. Or just go off on it'll be kinda like a mental break at that point actually. And, uh, so yeah, that's something we gotta be aware of, too, if it ever gets to that. Looks like everybody's going over here. Why is Oki upset? What's, what's his deal? His health is... he's got blood loss. He's been patched up, though. Hmm, I don't know, his nose has been shot off. Man, our guys are in rough shape. Can not understand why we want to have a drink if he has his nose shot off. Of course, probably thing probably tastes funny at that point, then, too. Let's see, is he, uh, he's wounded. Got a right eye. Why don't you rest? Oh, what happened in here? You let my guy die? Seriously? Ugh. All right. Oh, uh, we didn't take care of this guy good enough. This better guy better be getting health too here. He's losing. Why are we not getting any care for these guys? Where's the warden in this? We've lost so many people this time around. I wonder if it's a bug or something. That we. Uh, I don't know. That's very strange. We're losing. I've never lost as many people to blood loss before, and we have the medicine. So who is our doctor? Lauren's a doctor, right? Strip? No. Uh, where's the warden? Wardens. We have three doctors. Lauren's one of the doctors. Chef is another doctor. We can't order this guy to do anything, though. 
We can't order him around. And can we get Lauren to go fix him? Not a cleaner. No. Yeah, we can't do it. We can't do it. We can strip him down. But, um, yeah, I don't understand how we're supposed to heal people. Can we set this as medical? Oh, snap. That's the reason we have so many people dying. Because we have, don't have medical beds set up yet. Now that we have medical beds, they'll get treatment. Oh. We were going to lose so many people if we didn't figure this out. So now that's that's uh, that's so important. It's a very important thing. I wish I would have read that in the change log ahead of time. So our friend here is dead because we uh, did things wrong with that. Let's strip him down. And then I'll have somebody go make these, please. Um, NG or whoever. Go go make some graves, please. Whatever you're gonna do, go go do it. Go do that. I don't need you working on the, the walls. I need you to, I need the graves. Oh, now he's gonna get treatment. Man, we lost so many people to this. Because I didn't I didn't know that. Now now we know. Now we know. We won't lose any more colonies. We could have had a bit lot bigger colony had we known that ahead of time. So this was gonna be our temporary shelter in here for um newcomers that don't have homes yet, so we don't have to make anybody share a room that doesn't need to or doesn't want to. Uh, this guy's gonna, mood is probably gonna be really, very really, really angry about uh, seeing his his uh, corpses laying next to him on the ground. Yeah, witnessed allies' death. Yep, times three. Yep. So let's get these graves dug and uh, let someone deal with this here soon. So now he's been patched up. Man, all right, so we're good. He's got a bad back, he's got blood loss, but he's he's patched up now. Um, can I have you haul this guy? Nope. Who can haul? Anybody? Oki? You hauler? Hauling. Nope. Can you haul this guy? Oki, let's take care of this. Let's get this body out of there. Prioritize hauling. Yes, the dead pirate. Oh my gosh. Well, now that we know that. Now that we know that. We probably only need one medical bed in there. Um, so it's not medical. But we can always just do it ad hoc, too. Um, so... That'll be fine. Alright, well, we got some part of the wall done. So that's a really good thing. So now when people if people are attacking from over here, it's gonna force them down or force them up. And so now we'll have uh we'll have a turret waiting over here for him, maybe. And then a turret is already over here on this side. Once it gets once it gets uh built, it'll be right here. Why don't we have any power right now? Is something going on right now? Or is it just Yeah, so stuff is not getting power here for some reason. Why? Let's take a look at our power situation here. Power conduits. Let's see. Oh, right here. There we go. Well, that'll do it. Hmm. All right. So that was causing a big, big problem for us. And now it should be fixed. We'll also want to do probably this, I would imagine. Like that. Okay. So somebody will work on that here soon. And we haven't had power because of, uh, so we haven't yet cooked any food. We're gonna run out of food here now because we haven't any power for anything. So I need to have some NG, for example. You need to prioritize uh, building that right now. Get this power back in shape here because that's a big, big problem if we can't make any meals. And did you do the other one here? Okay, the power's back on. That's awesome. All right, so now, um, you're gonna make a workroom, right? To put some guns into? Yeah, because we're doing the whole ATF thing here. Uh, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. We don't have tobacco in the game yet. Not yet. So we'll do firearms though here. Ooh, he's got a, he's got a buffalo. Nice. So let's add on a room. And we don't want to add it onto here because why, why is that not getting power? Ugh, gosh. So I guess anytime these things get damaged, they lose their power conduits, maybe. That's what's happening here. Poor mood for who? Yeah, they already fixed it. How about that? Who's ever in a poor mood already was, was taken care of here. Eating raw food, not the best situation to be in. Uh, we could actually tell them to harvest this. Fully grown in 14 days. Jeez, I guess not. Not growing now, it needs to be brightly lit. Okay, there it goes. 14 days for grow double strand. I guess they kind of balanced that because it's a good way to make money. Um, got lots of hops to make more beer. And Procene's birthday is today. Hooray, congratulations, Procene. Um, so we were gonna put something in here, I think, right? That was the deal. So let's um, let's go deconstruct through here. 
you can stroke that. And then we'll put in some beds into here. Furniture beds. Put a couple beds in there. I don't think we need a whole lot. But just for uh, colonists who don't have homes, maybe. That kind of thing. And we can put a little door in here too to make a separate room so that uh, um, they won't get this room will get the benefit of having a wide open space though so that might be a good idea to set one of those beds up as a personal space but uh, we'll do a door here right yeah right there right yeah and let's speed things along a little more here we're already speeding let's go this way Choo. Uh, what do we want to work on now we don't I won't feel like we should be working like speeding along for not working on a big project here so we need to be working on something. This defense system is going to work pretty nicely, I think. Um, overall. We do need to think about where we want to put um, some bigger... Like, where we could put, like, walls around this part here and keep them focused to, like... I think... Actually, I think right here we can actually get rid of some of these walls here. Like this. Um, let's cancel this. So we can actually have the wall attached here and attach here. And then there's just gonna be exposed brick here they can get to eventually. Is this a room? No, it's not. It's just this rock. Um, there was a couple other ones though I spotted last episode, I think. It was over here. There was one for sure over here. Yeah, there's a room right here. And we should probably get these guys too. Um, these guys got some good stuff. So let's head the way over here to get these guys. The grades are all made up. Peterson is going to be joining up here soon, I think, now that we've got uh, the whole the whole uh, healing thing figured out. Um, doesn't want to be imprisoned, convinced by Warden 68, so he's almost to the threshold here, looks like. So, that's cool. Um, what's Oki working on? Let's, let's see. Angie's working on this. Vince is just grabbing some brews. Brewing some things up here. Uh, let's see. Pro scene. Once you're done sleeping here, let's get you awake and... Man, we should have get you a bionic eye. Man, we really need to do that. Um, let's grab some of the stuff that's over here. Where are you? Back up to materials again here? We're at 176 for marble. That's not too bad. Um, we can we might be able to get this wall just about done here soon. Yeah, it's probably gonna take a little more than that though. Now that I'm thinking about it. So what do I want to do with this area here? I do like the system here, but we need a way to like draw them into this. If we seal up the entire area, they're gonna look for they're going to look for easier avenues, I think. Um, so we need to be careful about how we do this. Where's Lauren going? She's uh, equipped the survival. She's stone cutting. Oh, she's grabbing rocks here. Why don't you take care of this guy? Strip him. And then we can send him into a grave here. So we get some get rid of him here. Help everybody's mood around the colony. Alright, so now let's have Lauren. Cannot haul, but that's fine. We can actually get you to go over here maybe. And uh, strip these guys down. Well, actually, NG's over here. Let's just use NG. Uh, can you strip these guys down? She's probably hauling this stuff, probably. There you go. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. And I don't want you to equip some of it here. Let's watch. Let's wear the power armor or the the vest here. Now let's wear the uh, Kevlar helmet, and uh, NG will be better defended. Sounds good to me. And why don't you get this guy here too? And then we can. Uh, Grab all this gear later. Okay, cool. All right, let's be the long in here. So next big project, what do we want to do here? Let's look at the research here. What's coming here? Pneumatic picks are coming next. Uh, mortars are an important thing. Los colonists construct these caskets. We already have a bunch. I don't think we need to do that one. Um, we will need this for space travel though, for shipbuilding. So we could do shipbuilding basics and start working on the ship, uh, possibly. We also need to work on making some more rooms for people because um, this is somebody's bed here. Oh, uh, Harmon, we need more rooms pretty soon here. Peterson's going to be joining up. Uh, so maybe we need to make another room here. Let's work on that next. So let's go furniture. Let's go structure rather. And we'll go with, uh, we don't need, we don't need power for this room. We'll just go, not slate though, we'll go marble. Look like this. What well, could be kind of a modular housing situation here? Wood door, bam, and then wood floor. And you know what else we should do to speed um, people's travel around here is maybe put some uh, some concrete down. Um, it does, I think, affect beauty though. It's a negative one beauty. Oh, a limestone tile. What is that like? 
to two beauty, so maybe that'll help. Marble tile is six blocks, six per block, geez. What do we have here? Slate, we have quite a lot of, actually. Slate is one of the main resources we have around here. Let's do that. Let's do slate tile, and we'll put slate tile like this. That people can walk on, maybe? Oh, I don't know if we want to do that. Let's do... Paved tile? Let's see what this is. Okay, two steel. It has no beauty. It's very quick to move on, but not very pretty. Um, metal tile is... Beauty of two. We're better off using the steel at this slate tile, I guess, then. So what we'll do is start making some some sidewalks here to get people moving a little bit faster here. We'll go like this. One hundred ninety-two, not enough. Okay, so we'll set this up to get so the slate going again here. Uh, get slate chunks being cooked as well. All right. Let's unpause it here. Let people go back to work, and uh, we'll work on some nice uh, flooring here to get people moving along sidewalks a little bit faster here between their houses and stuff. It's better than nothing, better than nothing. And we could get another little walkway going up through here, maybe. Up to the brewery, because so many people are visiting up there right now. So it'll look like that. That won't look bad at all. Is that what the final is going to look like? Uh, I don't know if it, like, it looks very good, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. So we're going to work on making guns, that's right. We're going to work on opening our trade game here. Um, so let's do some steel conduit wall, let's do marble conduit wall. Let's go like this. Um, the thing takes up four blocks, I think. Right? One. Let's see real quick. Not oh, three. Three blocks. Okay. So we can actually put it in here. Um, let's do this. Let's go like this. Put a wooden door in here. Okay. Do that. Put some floors in there. Do some, let's see, we have a lot of uh, granite blocks. Let's do granite. Granite floor in there. Okay, so this will be our new uh, weapons room here. And maybe we want to move the, the drop ship over here too, the drop pod, whatever, uh, so we can trade easier, maybe. I don't know, might, might make sense to do that. So another building done. And we can actually add the furniture into there now. So we've got the wooden royal bed, as we've done with everybody else here. It'll be no different. Cool. So yeah, we're getting like quality of life stuff going on today. Instead of uh, big projects today, it seems like. Just small upgrades. Little things we want to do, and hopefully get some money get to, uh, to to sell things here. Missing some slate blocks, so she's going to be working on slate here, hopefully. Does everybody, everybody should have an armor vest by now. Uh, let's get you an armor vest. And... Oki was mad about his clothing the other day, I, I remember, right? Yeah, wearing frayed apparel. Let's see, his armor vest is 38. I think that's the frayed apparel he's referring to, which... Um, it'll have to do. What are these pants? 92. Let's see if the pants help you. Oki, why don't you wear these pants instead? Put some pants on, maybe you'll feel better. There you go, got new red pants. Happy now? No? Okay. Well, nothing, nothing can please you apparently then. We gave you new pants, what more do you want? Alright, so our new our new weapon room is working on right now. And let's put in the production thing for the smithing bench. Uh, let's put it like here. Ooh, fire going on here now. Oh, maybe not. Okay. So the smithing bench will go in there. And then the sculptor's table, we'll want that too. I don't know where we'll put that. Let's put it over here, actually. Let's put the sculptor's table in here. Let's get more work done. And then we have all the tables. Oh, more fire, guys. Come on. Come, come put it out. Everybody, all hands on deck. All right, so we got a big, 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 big storm here. It's a dry thunderstorm, so we're not going to get the rain putting this stuff out, unfortunately. Fail to recruit. What more do you want, Pet Peterson? He's at, like, full mood here. If he still can't be recruited, I don't know what we can do for him. His, uh, recruitment difficulty is an 80, and he's been convinced by the warden at a 90. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what more he wants. 
Okay, we're hauling some weapons over. Some clothing, that kind of thing. Looks like they took care of the bodies already. Yep, our graves are almost full up here. One call us idol is Vince. We should get him crafted some things. Oh, I didn't see what that was. Probably wasn't that important. Uh, we should get him crafted some things, maybe. What is Vince's job here? Vince is the chef. He should never be, like, done working, right? Maybe we need more than one cook table. Maybe that's the difference. Um, maybe we put maybe we put Vince on cleaning then. Oh, he can't clean. Can you do art? Yeah, he's a foreign art. Uh, cooking is his big skill, though. Maybe we need two cook tables. I mean, we, uh, we have... Ooh, we have beer. We have six. We have six fine meals. And Drazi is working on making some more here. Um, let's see. What else can Vince do? Cooking is his main thing here. Repairing. Doesn't need to be done. And I guess researching. I guess we'll put you on researching then. So when you have nothing else to do, you can do that. So we'll put you as a four on researching. He's rather good at it, actually. And Oki is busy right now, so I don't mind you taking care of the research. You have nothing else to do. Absolutely nothing else to do. You can go for it. Fail to recruit. What does Peterson want? He's stubborn, man. He's stubborn. He'll be useful, though. Look at this. Growing is a 12. Construction is a 7. Mining is a 10. He's going to be useful. Very useful. Um, I don't know what more this guy wants, though. To be honest with you. Maybe his mood is such that he's never going to join up because he is a pessimist. So his thoughts, maybe maybe it needs to be at a 90 or whatever to, to, to recruit him because it's an 80, but his... Oh, you know what it probably is? He's convinced by the board at 89. This is at 95, but then he's subtracting 5, so he's not actually not getting convinced by the Warden enough. The Prisoner's Threshold is 80, and he needs to be convinced by the Warden to have his mood above 80, probably? I don't know, maybe that, maybe that doesn't make sense, but his pessimism and his cabin fever are uh, probably contributing to him not being able to join up, possibly. I don't know how much higher he can get as far as um, this stuff here. This stuff expires. I need to get outside. I don't know how to let you outside, man. I hate being locked up. I don't know how we can actually let you outside, is the thing. So, his mood might just have to be what it is. Maybe we'll have to sell his organs on the black market or something. I don't even know what to do with this guy. Peterson, you are the worst. Oop, another fire. Put it out. Don't let it destroy our stuff. Thank you. Alright, so now we're only missing four construction materials. And a mysterious blight destroys our crops. Oh, boy. And is this Devil Strand going to be destroyed too? Because if it is, that would suck. Um, that takes forever to grow. Okay, so we have the, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's, should we go to shipbuilding then? Cremation, maybe? Um, let's do shipbuilding. We never really get this far in the game. I mean, we're, we're at day, you know, whatever here. What day are we on? Day 58. Uh, so we might be able to actually, you know, do it this time around. And we'll make this area over here, maybe our shipbuilding area? I don't even know. Maybe we'll put like a nice big like block box around here that we can we can build the ship in. That might work. Uh, we haven't even built a wall yet though, so we need to work on that too. Lauren is working on making some more bl bricks for us though. More blicks, more bricks. And ah, oh, NG, clean it up the place. Fantastic. Nothing better to do apparently. And who's idle now? Nobody should be idle right now. You should always be working on something here, Vince. Especially when there's food to be made. Let's see what the deal is here. 8 of 20. Yeah, she's making 20 meals for us. And they're being refrigerated, so they don't go bad. Uh, we need more meat? Is that the deal? We got lots of rhinoceros meat. Let's hunt a few more things here. There we go. Hunt those things. Get some more get some more meat for ourselves. Pro scene, get some more practice shooting. What's this shooting up to now? She's at 10, so he's getting better. He's getting better. The more we have him hunt, the better he'll get. And he maybe he just needs a better gun. We all need better guns. Who is idle? Vince is idle again. And unusual heat wave has begun. Watch out for heat stroke. Oh no, not again. Oh boy, okay. So now it's time to upgrade. Quality of life upgrades once again here. This is this is it. We're gonna put in some temperature controlling onto here, I think. We'll put in We don't have enough money to do this, but we'll do it. We'll do it anyways. We don't have enough iron. Or steel rather. We'll give everybody AC in their places. And we'll do this. In that room. Alright, so that should that should help everybody cool off a little bit here. Uh, once we get these placed. It's going to use a lot of power, I'm sure. 
Are these not power conduits too? We might have to put conduits in too. We'll see what happens. If we ever get these things built, we'll see what happens here. So uh, I think it's gonna do for this episode here. We got the heat wave impending. Hopefully we can make these uh, AC start working. Our quality of life upgrades we're doing today will uh, help us long term here. But uh, we shall see what the future holds for our little colony here on RimWorld. I've been Modi. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys back next time for more. Have a good night.